were Brazilian, this is very cold. I've never uh, sailed in this cold before. And uh, it's a freezing the hands outside. And My hands are freezing. It hurts. It's a bit uncomfortable, but it's pretty cool. Uh, we had a pretty cool watch. Funny, it's a funny thing, you actually got to keep going fast to reasonably fast to keep it in one piece. If, if we have to slow down because of a breakage, that's when it's really, really dangerous because the breaking waves hit you as we, as we all found out in week, week um, three. to a certain degree. Now, we had some pretty good ones going from like mid-30s to, I don't know, 12 or something like that. We've just had no way of getting off the way without broaching out, so you just kind of planted it at the bottom and uh, held on. Yeah, the technical situation right now, it's, uh, it's I think, about 1,500 miles to go to the Horn. Uh, we are in the lead, so that's, uh, that's the good news. We've been going very nicely the last couple of days. Uh, now a big front is coming from behind, and uh, we, basically the ice gate is uh, setting us up for the jive, but we can't sell any further. Then we get a big wind shift and, uh, and quite a bit of breeze uh, tonight and tomorrow. This morning we had a nice kind of little duel with uh, Matt Free, who are you know, obviously the current race leaders. It's, it's actually really nice to see them because we're pushing quite hard at the moment jiving open, which doesn't allow us to have a lot of the rest or to eat properly or to be in a classic rhythm. It's really nice and it gives you uh, another kick of energy to, to keep going and keep, keep trying to, to arrive in Itajai in the first, uh, first positions. <laughs> 